What's going on guys? Aaron with Lansing Lawn Service. Today I have some gutter cleaning to do and so I've got a little uh, little special thing I'm going to show you that I got a few years ago. Let's get into it. Okay guys, so what I'm going to show you today is something I picked up a few years ago when I started doing gutter cleaning and uh, it has saved me a lot of trouble. So here it is. This is called the Quick Click. This is a ladder stabilizer. You guys have seen these before, I'm sure. And what it does is it actually just clips on to the top two rungs of your ladder and now you're not leaning against gutters or drip edge or anything like that on the roof the the ladder support and stabilizer actually does that for you you just put this up on the roof on the shingles and you don't touch any part of of the gutter at all so I'm gonna show you how to put this thing on uh, this thing cost me I think it was over fifty dollars but it was well worth it it's gotten a lot of use I really like it it's a good it's a good little product. Um, I did have to ta tape the, uh, the little bumpers on here, uh, and I had to do that when I first bought it. Um, they just fell off all the time, so that was the only drawback to it. Otherwise, it's worked very well. And so let's, uh, let's show you how this thing goes on. Okay, guys, so all you have to do is lift up your ladder. And you just slide slide the uh, stabilizer on this part here goes over the the top uh, rung this part goes over the second rung you just get it on there and there is supposed to be a chain here and it fell off so I gotta find that there's a little a pin that goes in through here and makes sure that this stays on so I definitely want that before I use this all right guys so Here's the pin, hopefully you're seeing that. And it actually is supposed to go on here somewhere. Here we are. Well, I'll put that on later, but the pin just goes right through here. Just clips in, it's in there nice and snug. It's not going anywhere unless somebody pulls on it. And that's it. Let's clean these gutters. So the next thing you want to do before you start cleaning the gutters, you want to get gloves and these are non-insulated. They're like a coated glove and they're waterproof. Uh, a lot of times when you clean gutters the way I do it, your hands can get very wet. These keep your hands dry, clean, and uh, they're, they're great for gutter cleaning. I picked these up at a store we have here in Michigan called Menards. and. Uh, it's like a hardware, big box hardware store. So um, it's a very popular store here, but I'm sure you can get gloves like these at Home Depot, uh, places like that. So next thing you're gonna need is a bucket. And I don't blow gutters out like a lot of you guys do, simply because I think it's cleaner to clean them out by hand. Uh, here, we get a lot of asphalt rocks and things like that in there. I like to clean all that out. Sometimes uh, this time of year when all of our leaves are down stuff in the gutters is frozen and so I want to make sure to clean all that stuff out. Sometimes I've had to use a hammer with the claw and like break up ice and things like that. Uh, sometimes it's easier if it's frozen. You can just lift out whole chunks of leaves and everything and throw it in your bucket and uh, get it cleaned out that way. So Let's take a look at these gutters, see how they look. Usually, these gutters here aren't that bad, so uh, let me show you the ladder, what it looks like, and uh, we'll go from there. So that is what the stabilizer looks like on the roof. It's up on the shingles. The ladder is not leaning on the, on the gutter at all, and even if I get on that ladder, it's not going to touch it. It's about three inches away, and... Uh, I'm telling you guys, that's the way to go. Uh, also, these little giant type ladders are also the way to go. They 
they uh, fold down really compact and then you can throw them in the back of your truck and they're no problem whereas an extension ladder um, takes up a little bit more room so I really like this ladder uh, I've used it for like three or four years now really works great so let's clean these gutters we're up here now as you can see the bumpers just sit on the roof and the gutters are pretty clean on this one there's a little bit more down there there's a little here all in all not too bad looking really good shouldn't take too long but as you can see down there full of water so that is why I've got these gloves so I'm gonna clean the gutters and uh, I'll show you the finished product after we're all done all right guys this one is done it took me about 15 minutes and on camera it looks pretty dirty it's actually pretty clean uh, for gutters anyway it's just kind of muddy there's a leaf or two in there left but um, pretty clean overall so this client is a uh, year-round contract so I'm contracted for snow fall cleanup gutters and the lawn so it's a uh, it's a good little setup I'm glad that I have the the year-round contracts and uh, more and more people are starting to get in on those now with the year-round contracts I did have one client who uh, wanted out early and that was fine they just paid the difference to uh, pay for what they owed and that was it so not a bad deal guys I, I like the 12-month contracts that I have and uh, they seem to work well people on fixed income seem to like them spreads out the payments over the whole year instead of you know seven eight months so all right guys I've got another gutter cleaning job coming up here today and I also got to clean up some really tall pampas grass so stay tuned all right guys we are at the third job of the day today as I told you I'm gonna cut down some big grass here I'm all set up to go and uh, I cut this down every year it grows this high every year which is ridiculous so I'm gonna bag that grass up into these two bags here and we're gonna get out of here after cleaning the gutters also and clean those here too so let's get to work I can get some of that stuff and some of the trash and things. But cleaned up, ready to go. Ready to clean the gutters and uh, call it a day. I am done here at this one. It's getting dark. That's why I'm so close to the camera. So I just wanted to say thank you for watching. 
And if you like these videos, click this playlist right up here. You can see a lot more of my work right here. And I will see you over in one of those videos.